Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. This video is my finale for my 10 by fall project pan. My last update was supposed to be my finale, but I needed one more month to really finish some things that were on their last leg. So I have a lot of really great progress to share with you today. I'm gonna to start with the only product that I had finished in my last update, and that is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. This is empty. I finished it up and it took me forever. It's a really nice product. It smells so good. I just purchased a giant bottle, a giant eight ounce bottle of the sweet almond oil from the Heritage store. I do prefer using oils over creams, so I'll most likely continue to use that. I also have one from the body shop, the coconut body oil. That one is almost finished. And I have a little tub of a body cream from Lush that a friend of mine gave to me. So I do have plenty of moisturizers right now. If for some reason I use all of those up and then I find myself wanting to buy this, I might consider buying like a set or something, but I have other creams that I like and I don't need this. I don't need to run out and get a new one. So let's talk about the exciting products, shall we? The first one is the primer from Cover Effects. It's the Custom Blot Drops. This is empty. I'm so excited to be done with it. Can I tell you this entire time, that I used it. I used it as a face primer, so I put a light layer of it on my skin and then I put my foundation on top of it. Didn't even think for a second that this is something you could probably mix in with your foundation. Didn't even think about that. I wish I had tried it. Maybe I would have gotten better results, but honestly, this did not do anything for me. I don't think this worked at oil control and at all. This full size is $42. Definitely don't recommend buying it at that price, but if you still do want to try it, I would wait until Cover Effects has holiday sales. I think right now this might be on sale for $21. That makes it a way better deal than $42. I did calculate how many uses it took to finish, so I will talk about it in my next video like that. Bit of a disappointing product, didn't really see any major difference from when I used it to when I didn't use it, so I'm glad to have this out of my collection. My next product is something that I hit my goal on. It is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Filmstar Bronze and Duo in light to medium, and I hit pan on the highlighter. That was my goal, and I finally did it. I only was able to do it in like the last week or so. I really did use it quite a bit before I was able to hit pan. It makes me feel like you really get your value for your money though, because I had to use this almost a hundred times in order to hit pan. This was a product that I loved when I first used it and then it kind of got pushed to the back and I was using other highlighters and once I brought it back into this project pan I fell back in love with it and I realized what made me love it so much whenever I first used it so I'm glad to remember how much I love this, have some actual pan showing, it's very exciting. I don't have a lot of highlighters with pan on them and I'm very glad to have hit my goal on this product. Next product I hit my goal on was the Bare Minerals Color Corrector. It's the Correcting Concealer SPF 20 in the shade Light 1 and I finally finished this up. I did enjoy using it, it was very creamy and nice. I'm back to using my NYX Dark Circle Concealer in the shade Fair and I love it. I like it a lot more than this. I enjoyed using it. I'm glad to see it go, especially before it expired. It's not something I would buy again. Another product I finished is the Jouer Concealer. I was in the shade Creme Cafe, and I did take the stop route in my last update, and I used a special, like a scooping wand. I don't exactly know what it's called, but it's from the Ulta brand, and it's got a little like rubber scooper thing on the end, so I got every drop that I could out, which is a really good feeling. I don't think there's a ton of product in here. Yeah, it says it's 0.139 fluid ounces or 4.14 milliliters. So I just feel like I went through this very quickly considering the price. I think it's like $25 or maybe more. Even though this did have decent coverage and I did love that it had more of a golden undertone to match my undertones, I am using the Cover Effects one right now, the Powder Play, and that has the same level of coverage, but it's way thinner. It's a lot more liquidy, and I feel like that looks a lot better under my eyes than this did. I enjoyed using it. I loved having that full coverage, but I'm glad to have been able to use it up before it expires, and that way I can focus on some other concealers in my collection. The rest of the products I still made good progress on, but I did not finish or hit my goal. The first one is the Wet n Wild Blossom Glow Highlighter. The sticker pulled apart, and so there's like nothing holding this together <laughs> because of that. I do want to try to use this up as quickly as I can. I will most likely continue to use this very regularly, um, even after this project is over. There's still quite a bit of product in there, but the pans are very thin. I don't know if it'll be done by the end of the year, but I can get it done, hopefully, by the time springtime comes. I don't know. I'm not going to force myself to use it. I'm going to play with my other highlighters as well, but I would like to get this out of my collection pretty soon. I have a lip liner here from NYX. It's in the shade Bed Rose. I still reach for this pretty regularly, maybe not as much as I did in my last update, but I think if you look at how much progress I made over the course of the project pan, I used up probably around two inches worth of pencil, which I think is really great. It's a lot more than I would have 
used if I didn't have it in my project pan. This is a really pretty shade. I love pairing it with the Pillow Talk lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. I think those together make a really pretty like deeper nude shade, especially for this time of year. A lot of my NYX lip pencils are several years old. I would say probably getting to be like three years or more old now. Uh, so they are things that I would like to reach for more and maybe work them out of my collection if I can. I don't know if pencil products go bad as quickly as others do, especially if it's something that you sharpen so the air isn't touching the product as often. I don't know, I think it's a lovely color. I don't think it'll be done by the end of the year, but I'm very excited to have had so much progress over the course of this project. The next one is one that is almost done and will probably be in my next empties video. This is the Milani Eye Pencil. I think it's in the shade Hooked on Espresso. And I don't have much left, especially considering it's something that you sharpen. So I feel like the next time I sharpen it, it might not let me sharpen anymore. So maybe one or two more sharpens before this one is done. Part of me wishes it had been done by the end of the project, but I'm very close and it's still going to be something that can be done by the end of the year. My next product is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Sea Siren. I did put some contact solution in here and it made it feel like brand new. Tons of product was coming out and it acted like I had just bought it. I eventually used it enough that it feels dry again on the wand. I think my next move is going to be to take out the stopper, but I'm going to hold off and do that next time I try to use it and that way I can try to get more product out of there. It doesn't seem like there's too too much left in there, but it's just in the bottom where I can't reach it with my wand anymore and so my wand is dry even if I try to dig around in there. I don't want to take out the stopper just yet because I know the second you do that it dries up really quickly, so I don't want anything to dry up. I want to actually use everything that I can in there. If I remember to grab for this more, I might be able to have it done by the end of the year, which would be exciting, but if I don't, that's okay too. My last product is the Calvin Klein Perfume. This one, I don't have a lot left. Um, I am glad that even though the purple part goes down a certain amount, there is like an extra little tube that goes all the way down to the bottom of the perfume bottle, so I can actually get every last drop out of there, at least I'm hoping I can. This definitely should be done in the next couple of weeks. It's something I use every day. It's a lovely scent. If you turn it on its side there, it's much more apparent just how little product I have left. So I definitely think that this can be done pretty soon. Those are all the products I have to talk about today. I feel like this was a pretty successful project pan. I was glad to have one more month to work on everything. I don't think I'll have another project pan uh, for the rest of the year. I was going to do a seasonal one every three months, um, but just because it's already the middle of November, I don't think I'm going to start anything new before the end of the year. Maybe I'll just take this time to play around with whatever I want and play around with some looks. Next week I do have five tutorials in a row coming in collaboration with Jordana Vargas, so I will be playing with a lot of different products. My next project pan will probably start in January. It's called Partners in Cream. You might have heard about it on YouTube. A lot of people are joining it. It was created by two YouTubers and they asked me to join and I was more than happy to do it. That project pan will be focusing on cream products. If they have information out already, I will link it in the description box if you want to join. But I think that'll be my next project pan that I'll be working on. But in the meantime, that's everything I have to talk about today. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye guys!